Lizzie's next training session may be a bit more challenging. Since Linda has hearing loss, she would like her dog to alert her when her cell phone rings. You could train 10 dogs to do this and guarantee five would fail. There's no telling if Lizzie is gonna pass or fail, but the only way to know is if I try. So the first step in the process is to teach her to alert. And the best way to teach a dog to bark on command is with the knock of a door. Good, good. I do this over and over. I keep knocking on the door, and every time she's barking a little more intently, a little louder each time. Good, a little more. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Next, Brandon adds the sound of Linda's ringtone. Good, good. Day after day, Brandon repeats the process. I'm knocking lighter and lighter. Time goes on, she's actually barking at the sound of the phone and less at the knock of the door. Good, good, good. Now I just play the ringtone and she's barking right at me with the ringtone. Good. Brandon also conditions Lizzie to make physical contact with him since Linda might not be able to hear a bark. Good, there you go. And the way I teach this is actually very simple. It's through agitation. I play the ringtone and naturally Lizzie comes up and she barks at me, but I don't give her a treat. And we repeat this process over and over until I see she's starting to get agitated. She's like, why am I not getting a treat? And eventually she puts her paws on me. Boom, she gets a treat. Good, oh, nice, perfect. We repeat this process over and over until every time I play the ringtone, she's walking right up to me and putting her paws on me, giving me some sort of nudge, some sort of contact. Good. She now understands the process of alerting her handler to the ringtone. Lizzie's training wraps up just in time as Brandon receives a phone call from the Hansons. Hello. Letting him know they're in town and want to meet at the harbor. All right, great. I'll meet you there in a few hours. All right, see you then. Bye. All right, come on. You got a family waiting for you. Come on. Not too long ago, two-year-old Lizzie was roaming the streets as a stray. After months of training, she's ready to embark on her next adventure, life with her forever family. They were expecting to just come meet me, but I had a little bit of a different plan in mind. Well, watch out. Oh! Hi there. Hi, sweetie. Oh, how great is this? Linda's eyes lit up when she saw Lizzie for the first time. Uh, Lizzie, yeah. I've been waiting my whole life for you. You <laughs> tiny. You tiny. Oh, you're a good girl, aren't you? Huh? You're a good girl. Lizzie was a surprise, and it was just a joy to see her. When he actually handed her to me, and she actually snuggled up to me, I thought, OK, that did it. Give him a nose <laughs> lick. There you go. <laughs> After they finished having their moment together, we all took a boat ride. They were definitely surprised to see how well she did on a boat, but they had no idea the second surprise they were about to see. Just like that, Lizzie's ears perked up, and suddenly she starts walking across Linda, trying to get my attention. This is exactly what she's trained to do. Good, 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 perfect. What I want you to do is practice this every day, because I promise you, after you do it for a few more months, she's going to alert you every single time how special that can be to anybody's life when you have that kind of help. And eventually, we found ourselves back at the dock. What do you guys think? Smooth sailing, huh? Smooth sailing. That's going to be a great dog out on the water, too. I'll tell you what, I do have one more gift for you. You do? Go ahead and hold her. I'll hold her. OK. Oh, boy. Lizzie has earned her green graduation collar. Oh, pretty Lizzie. When I saw that collar, I knew that her world and my world had come together. So long, Lizzie. Be good. She's all yours. With Lizzie with her new family, it's time for Brandon to say his goodbyes. OK, well, goodbye. Thank you very much for everything. She's going to go from that really difficult beginning in life to having a golden spoon in her mouth. She's going to run into paradise in Florida, and we're going to take care of her as best we can. Very good boy. Excellent work. Hup, hup. Very good boy.